Hello guys, Skid here, and welcome to my quick tutorial on the program Emote Movie Maker, or Emofuri as a lot of people might know it as. It is a Japanese program for Windows. I don't think it works on Mac or any other system right now. First of all, what is Emote Movie Maker? It's a free program you can download uh, that will let you draw a character on a single PSD file and if you have the layers set up properly it will take your character and animate them for you. It's basically a poor man's version of Flash. If you don't know how to do animation or mess with Flash or anything this program is an easy way to watch your characters come to life. And uh, there are tutorials out there but most of them are spread out like there's a tutorial on how to install the program there's a tutorial on how to like export the files in the program and stuff like that, but they're not all together. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm going to compress them all into one tutorial so you don't have to go searching everywhere. And hopefully I'll cover everything. Alright, so the first thing to do is to download the program. And I'll leave a link in the description to where you can do that. And in order to install it and run it, you have to have your computer system set to the Japanese locale and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, changing your system locale does not hurt your computer. You can actually change it back at any time and as you see everything is still in my language so uh, it doesn't change all your text to Japanese if you do. So what you want to do is go to control panel, click on clock, language and region. This is for Windows 7 by the way. And then under region and language you click change location. Under the administrative tab here, right here, it says change system locale. And whenever you click this, it'll show where, uh, your current um, country. And what you want to do is make sure it's set to Japanese. And then you click OK, and it'll ask you to restart your computer. So after you do that, your system should be set to Japanese locale. So after that's done, then you go to the file you downloaded, Emote Movie Maker, and run it, and you'll see this window pop up. And a lot of people have trouble installing because they don't know how to read this. It's very simple, it's just like any other program that you have to install. See this big N here? That's for Next. This is to close it, so you hit Next. And right here is the Terms of Service Agreement, A and D. That's for Accept and Decline, so you want to accept it, and then click Next and then just keep all that checked and hit next again and it should install. But since mine's already installed I don't need to do, to do that. And here's the program up and running. But before we get to mess with the program you actually have to draw your own character into this PSD. What you do is you go to your C drive Program Files, M Tools Cheeseware, Emote Movie Maker, and then go into Template or wherever you installed it. You go into Template, and right here where it says PSD, you open that and you open this file. This is the template it gives you, and you open it in Photoshop or Paint Tool Sci or whatever you use. I use Paint Tool Sci, so that's what I'm going to use it or open it in. And this is what it gives you. Now I'm going to explain what each of these folders are and what you should do. First, you're going to ignore all these other files, uh, this this top one and this bottom one you want to have hidden. What we're going to focus on first is this third folder. And what's in this third folder is each individual piece. There are different layers. This piece is the bangs. This piece is the head. This piece is the breasts, this piece is the body, and this piece is the back of the hair. And what that's going to do is whenever you put it in the program, it's going to animate each individual piece. So whenever you go in and start drawing your own character in here, you'll want to keep the layer names the same. Do not change the names of the layers. And if you have to, just copy, and then like, if you make a new layer, just paste it. And that way, it, 
stays the same. So this layer that's a head layer, if you draw a new head on this one, just make sure you delete this layer afterwards. Or merge them or whatever you decide to do. So when you get done drawing your character in there, up here in the second folder is the face layers. This layer right here, I know it's a little hard to tell, so this layer right here is the eyelashes, the outline of the eyes. Right here is the pupils and the irises. And right here, it's hard to tell, but let me draw right here, I'll show you. If I put red right here, this layer right here is the white of the eyes, the cornea. So those top three layers are the open eye expression. This layer, if you hide all these top three layers, this one right here is the closed eye expression. And like I said, just as the third folder, keep all the layer names the same. This layer is eyebrows, they're both on a single layer. This layer is the mouth. This layer is the open mouth. And this layer is the nose. So after you get done editing your character in, this top folder here will unhide it. As you see, it's got a bunch of red squares. It should be the same for you. The, and yours might have these showing too. But these three points of interest here, you don't need to worry about these. Unless you make your character taller or something. Now what these red boxes are, is they help you, the program, identify which is the left eye and which is the right eye. Or which is the left eyebrow and which is the right eyebrow. As you see, each layer has an L, R, L, R. And if you hide the layer, you see that this is for the left eye. So what you want these boxes to do, like if you make the eyeball bigger, like whenever you actually redraw your character, is make sure these boxes completely surround the left eye and the right eye, whether it's open or closed. Same thing with the eyebrows and the mouth. Like, make sure that this box fits the mouth and the open mouth expression. And then, of course, the box for the nose. That's what the top folder is for, so we'll hide that. And now this last folder has three colored boxes in it. This one is for this red box, this top layer here, is for the head and the back of the hair. So make sure the full head and back of the hair fits with inside this red box. This purple box is for the body. So make sure the entire body, including the neck behind the head, fits within this purple box. And then the last one is the screen box, and you just gotta make sure the entire character fits within the green box. Now, I'm gonna open up a picture that I already did of one of my characters from my webcomic UberQuest, Kibbles. And I've already done this. As you see, here's all the different little pieces. There's the eyelashes, there's the pupils and irises, there's the white of the eye, uh, there's a closed eye expression right here, if you look, see? So basically just edit yours to be the same so that all the layers stay the same name and you have all your pieces in order. Otherwise the program will not be able to, to, de to detect which layer is which. But there's all the pieces and as you see up in this top layer I have the red boxes completely surrounding the pieces that are important. Like the mouth and the nose and the eyes and stuff. So once you get your template done, make sure you save it as a different name. I would make sure you keep the original template so you don't lose it. And then we'll open up the Emote Movie Maker program. Now, right here is File. And this is to open a new file. This is open a recent file. As you see, I've done quite a few. This is to save your current project. This is to save your current project as, so you can rename it. And then uh, the only other option you really need to worry about is this one that says PSD. So the first thing we're going to do is click Open. And it should lead you right to this folder right here. If, you don't, if it doesn't lead you to this folder, what it is is it's in uh, C Program Files, M Tools, Emote, Template, and then Emote. 3.0 right here. And you're going to open this emote3.0.mmo and it should open up the original template of the girl we just saw. There it is. Now this is where the magic happens. So you're going to hit file 
and hit this PSD button right here. This is to import a PSD file, this the file that you just edited and saved. So go to wherever you saved your file and import it. Alright, see it opened up my Kibbles file here. And now this is the this is a really important part. Over here it shouldn't have any red text. If it does, then you saved your PSD wrong or one of your layers may have been misnamed. So you might want to go recheck your PSD file and make sure everything's in order. And what these are is it their selections of the different objects that were in your PSD file. Like here's the left eye and the right eye, the left iris and the le right iris, left eye white and the right white of the eye. So, and then this is left eyebrow, right eyebrow, etc. Right here, after the nose, is where things get interesting. Now this is the background. Uh, oh, that's that is something I forgot to mention. Right here uh, is the background. Whatever you want to have in the background of your little animation should go right here. And keep the layer name the same, of course. Alright, so once you select this, it gives you this little box, which you have to make sure you select the entirety of whatever layer you're on. So this is the background, so you want to make sure the whole background is shown. We're going to click on the next one. Now this is that green box, so make sure you select the entire green box. If you don't do this, it will cut off pieces of your character, like in the animation, and it'll look weird. This is the red box, which is the head and the back of the hair. Now, this layer right here is the head. Make sure you select all of the head. The next layer is the bangs, so make sure you select all of them, etc. Just keep doing it with every layer. And just if you're following closely, you shouldn't miss any layers. If you're confused about what layer or which one of these goes to what, then just rewatch this. This is the back of the hair. The next one is the back hair, like the ponytail or the if they have long hair, it's the back of the hair. This layer is the purple box, which surrounds the body. And then this layer is the body itself. Make sure that you select the entirety of each layer inside this little white and blue box. And then the last is the breasts layer, which you select all of. Kibbles has a big bust, so I have to make that bigger there. And once you're done, re-double check, make sure everything's all selected properly. Everything looks good on my end. So once you're done, you hit this button right here, this left button, and it should import PSD. And boom, there it is. You can you can click on the image and zoom in and out and drag and pan across the screen. So there's my character. And now if to get it to move, this over here, I usually ignore all these other ones because I'm not really sure what these other options do. The only one you want to select is this red second selection right here. You click the plus button next to it and then you click the plus button next to this third option here and it'll open all these sample animations. These are these just come with a program. You can make custom animations, which I'll explain here shortly. But just to test out the character and see if you uploaded everything properly, you just click on one of these sample animations. As you see, it's got a timeline here. You don't have to mess with this just yet. What this button here does is play. This button here is to export the animation. Of course, I'm not going to be using the program itself to export the animations, and I'll show you what these do later. Right now, we're just going to focus on the play button. And if done properly, your character should move around. There you go. Kibbles is all shy and animated. It's really cool to see your character in motion now. So that, obviously, I uploaded and made everything selected properly. So now, I'm going to quickly teach you how to make custom animations. In this same area, you're going to click on this right here, this little option right here next to the plus symbol. And right here, this is where you name your animation. So name it something like 
Uh, I'm just gonna name this test. Test animation. If I can type properly today. And then you hit this button, and boom, there it is. Test animation. As you see, it's got an empty timeline, and she is not animated at all. Like if you hit play button, nothing happens. So in order to animate her, what we're gonna do is we go up here to this second option on, in the red area, click on it, and this gives you a bunch of sliders. And as you can see, the sliders, if you move them around, this makes her head bob up and down. This head, this one makes her head tilt to left and right. This one makes her head turn left and right. As you can see, it's pretty cool. This one moves her whole character left and right, and this one moves her up and down. Basically, you gotta experiment with what each one does. This one, I believe, is her mouth. Yeah. This one is her eyebrows to different anim different expressions for her eyebrows. This one is her eyes, whether they be closed, really happy, or really wide-eyed. And to reset, you just hit this button. This button is to reset if you like, if you messed with a bunch of settings and stuff like this, and you're like, oop, I want it to go back to default. Just hit this, and it'll reset it. This one uh, moves her eyes up and down. This one moves her eyes left and right. This one tilts her whole body left and right. This one makes her look like she's breathing, like breathing up and down. This one makes her kind of jiggle left and right. Uh, this one rotates the whole thing. I've never used this one. And then this one, of course, makes her lean back or lean forward. So that's pretty cool. Now, to make your own custom animations, what you want to do is move your character to a specific pose you want. Like, I'm going to make Kibbles look up and to the right here. So make her eyes look up and to the right. Maybe make her smiling. And now, I'm going to save this pose. What you do is you hit this third button right here. And that'll save that pose in a library. And I'll show you how to access that library shortly. Then you select a different pose. Like, let's make her look to the other side. All right. Then we'll save that one to the library. Then we're going to make her look down. We'll make her look over this way. We'll give her her smile back right here. Maybe make her look kind of determined or angry or something. And we'll have her eyes widen here. Hit this third button again to save that one. And then one more. Just have her just look over this way. <laughs> I love that expression. That's hilarious. And save that. So now we saved four pictures into the library. So go to your test animation. And right here on the timeline, I usually start at about 60. And just now, this is, uh, I think this is milliseconds. So right uh, I'm not sure how to exactly how to read this just yet, but I think this is in milliseconds. So uh, I start usually started at 60 because the animations are a bit weird with this program, or at least on my end it is. So started about you know somewhere around here, and then to access your library, you click this fourth button right here, and as you see, there's the four pictures I saved. So we're going to select this first one. See, now we're going to zoom ahead in the timeline a little bit. Click the library again, select the second one. And I want her to keep this pose for a little bit, so I'm going to click ahead and then select the same exact one. So from here, she'll look to the left and then she'll stay in that position for another couple of milliseconds. And then right here, make her look down and then we'll make her look right. And that's it. That's how you make custom animations. Then you just hit play. And there you go. There's the quick animation I did. So that's how you make custom animations in Emo 3. And if you want to save these animations, you can hit this export button. And uh, you can export it as a GIF or WMV. If you export it as PNG, it's going to save every single frame of animation. So I would not recommend doing that. Um, actually, I wouldn't recommend using this export program at all because it makes it very choppy, very like low frame rate, kind of crappy. So I'm not even going to show you that. Um, 
what I would do is, I'm sure if you noticed, I have this GIF cam. And I'll leave a link to the description for this program as well. What I do with this is I open it, open GIF cam. There it is. Now, GIF cam is kind of cool. You can sit there and select what you want in this little window here. We're going to make sure that I select the whole thing like that. Actually, I want to make sure that just that upper part of her body is selected. So go to test animation. There you go. And then you hit record. Then click play. Do, 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 do. She does a little animation. Then you hit stop and then save. And that should save what you just recorded as an animation. And that is my basic tutorial on how to animate in Emote Movie Maker. If I missed anything, just leave a comment and uh, ask your question if you have any, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned.